With every new dawn in India, a 500-year-old tradition grows older and stronger. Woven threads of woolen silk, crafted by generations of master weavers, tell an exquisite story. The story of India's woven wonders. Mystery shrouds the date when the first carpets were rolled out on Indian soil. It was during the reign of the Mughal Emperor Jalaluddin Akbar that carpet making developed as a craft in the 16th century. With the passage of time, the art of carpet weaving spread to other parts of India, growing as a cottage industry. The arid landscape of Rajasthan supports large number of sheep, which caters to the wool demand of the carpet industry across India. Carpet weaving is normally done in villages and not in large factories by women and men having great artistic talents and commitment. Following the design, weavers tie knot after knot. A carpet may have as many as 400 intricate knots per square inch. Depending upon size and knottage, it can take up to nine months or more to weave. These fine carpets are highly treasured. The carpet industry has come a long way from the days when carpets were designed by hand. With a click of the mouse, the design can be changed and modified. The right color combination worked. The precise number of squares matched the knots on the carpet. The final design, complete with information of material, size and color, is printed out for the weaver. The yarn is accordingly dyed. The industry uses state-of-the-art technology in various manufacturing processes. It is now possible to accurately match shades and colors to meet international standards. In recent years, the demand for tufted carpets has far outgrown that of knotted carpets. Tufted carpets can be woven in myriad styles and fabrics to suit changing trends. Their affordability makes them very popular. Once a carpet has been woven, it is thoroughly washed for several hours to impart a luster to its pile. After being washed and dried, the carpets are moved for finishing. Sorting of colors which have intermingled during the weaving. The edges are cut and bound. The carpet is shared to give a final smooth texture. The vast majority of carpets hand produced in India are exported all over the world. The basic idea of Carpet Export Promotion Council was to promote the exports of carpets by helping the small and medium exporters who had no access to the international markets by way of subsidizing them financially as well as marketing their products overseas. Organizing carpet trade fairs in India and participating in international expos throughout the year is one of the major initiatives by the CPC. 
buyers from all over the globe come to these fairs to sample the latest trends, meet exporters and renew trade relations. We attach a great deal of importance to these trade fairs because it gives us an opportunity to see a lot of manufacturers that we couldn't have the time to visit individually. The CPC does a great job of providing accommodation and making all facilities available to us to not only see the major people that we do business with, but always find the smaller people and find new and exciting sources. Carpet industry, especially the handmade carpet industry, is extremely important. As on today, it employs about 2 million people and earns about 1.2 billion US dollars in terms of export from India. So from that perspective, it is an extremely important sector for Indian economy. These exhibitions also provide the opportunity to new entrants in the trade and young entrepreneurs to showcase their product and talent. We have become number one carpet exporters in the world in terms of value as well as in terms of quantity. Today, it is a shining example of a sustainable industry that has transformed the lives of the weavers and other craftsmen engaged in it. The Indian carpet industry looks set to continue its reign at the top of the global market by giving unmatched product quality to the world and prosperity to all its stakeholders at home.